G'day! In today's video, I've got a Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 14 IAH8. And this particular one was manufactured late 2023, and it's a 12th gen Intel i5, 8GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage. I believe it's a 14 inch 1080 resolution display on here. And this one I'm just wanting to open up to see if the RAM is upgradable. I believe it's not, which is slightly disappointing. I think it's also running DDR5, but it's soldered. So, I just want to take the screws out of it, pop it open, and see if it can potentially be upgraded. Being it's relatively new, oops, just heard it on, I best switch it off first. One second. It's probably also got lift to open enabled, which seems to be a thing that Lenovo likes doing. If you open the screen, it likes to power on. So far, these screws along here at the back have been the same length, and the ones at the front have been slightly smaller. Go on here as well. Go. Now, hopefully, I'm going to simply pull on a corner here. There we go. The force there. I just feel like it's still stuck here. No? Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going. Did just tear the plastic slightly. So enough that it stays, but not enough that it stays as one piece. There we go. Now we're in. Now if I spin this around, what have we got? We have one battery. And I'm not seeing any RAM modules, which is fairly disappointing. I am seeing one thing I have not seen in quite some time in a laptop. We have a CR2032 battery here, assuredly for the BIOS backup. Very odd. I'm going to assume that the RAM is soldered under here. There's no space over here. It might be on the other side of the board. We do have one Lenovo battery down here which if I can see a model number on here, I'm failing to spot that. There we go. L22D3PF2. Now yeah, sadly, about the only thing we can really change and upgrade on here is this slightly angled NVMe. Slightly angled. Very bizarre. We do have a Wi-Fi card over here. I'll hold that up here. You should be able to see it. It's AX203NGW, which would be an Intel Wi-Fi card. To change over the SSD is pretty straightforward. We can undo the screw here. This should lift up. Walk it out like so. Uh, do I see a brand on here? Micron. So this one's a 512 gig NVMe drive. If I can take this off, we might be able to see a bit more. Now that's peeling the sticker up with it, so I won't bother proceeding. Push that back down. More than likely, whoop, more than likely, you'll end up with a larger NVMe, which means you'll have to put it in up to here. But right now, we can put this on at a very sm small angle. In, down, in, down, and put this screw in over here. That's it, locked down. We can upgrade the battery or change the battery in the future if that does have issues. We can't change the processor, we can't change the RAM, we can change the Wi-Fi, we can change the NVMe. If you do damage your charging port over here, you will have to take out the motherboard as it is soldered onto the motherboard here. I do see another USB cable here. I'm assuming that might be for a touchscreen version of this laptop. Possibly, possibly not. Uh, the fan would be replaceable, the daughter board would, re would be replaceable if you damaged a USB or the card reader. The chance of that's pretty slim. And then from here, it's a matter of putting this bottom cover back on. I'm trying not to tear it like I did. I was hoping it was braced up a bit more than it actually was, but I guess not. It's all made to a budget. There we go. From here, it's a matter of putting those screws back in. If you did change over your NVMe drive, 
you will need to use the Windows 11 install utility or media creation tool to make an installing installer USB. And with that, from there, you should be able to reinstall Windows onto your new SSD. Okay, that's good. Now, four screws across the front here. One, two, three, and four. Hope this helps with your Idea Slim 3 12th gen Intel model. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.